Hey y'all, so it's Saturday and I'm getting ready to check out of the hotel in Tobago. And you see my skin is peeling my sunburn. So I'm putting sunscreen on it. The black girl sunscreen. Y'all see that? yeah so I didn't really like get on camera a lot since I've been here because I just wanted to relax and I was also really tired like yesterday I went to the pool and I literally fell asleep at the pool I don't know how long I was asleep for but I was sleeping and Yes, yeah, so I'm going back. I'm on the 4 p.m. boat, so. Ugh, I'm on the 4 p.m. boat, so I'm get. I'm gonna get there around two. And I ask if the shuttle can take me to, to the boat terminal and how much it would be and the lady said it's free and she just double checked that the shuttle didn't have anywhere else to go for that time and since the shuttle is free I'm taking the shuttle to to there which is good because I'm so tired of spending money <laughs> like oh my god Ugh. like everywhere I turn around it's money ate breakfast I actually got up at a decent time to get breakfast and oh my god y'all my stomach hurts so bad <sighs> like jeez like everything I ate is just catching up to me like for real and also I, I noticed that I did not drink a water this entire time since I've been on the trip so yesterday I bought when I went out to get food I bought um, waters. They were like two for five dollars, and this is the five dollar bottle of waters in Trinidad that that I got for two fifty. So I just bought those. And here at the hotel, the water is eight dollars a bottle, and I bought two of those the night before. So I'm just out here trying to get ready, putting on my sunscreen on ashy I'll probably just put regular lotion on my feet but ooh. oh my nose I didn't put any on my nose but yeah and I'm, I'm gonna start editing the vlog soon so and I decided I'm gonna put like how much everything cost me this whole trip I'm gonna put it in like the last episode yeah, I'm supposed to be meeting my cousin or one of my cousins at some point, probably tomorrow, since I'll be coming back in late Saturday, I mean today, so tomorrow, and then I don't leave, well, I gotta be at the airport for like midnight, I think, about, I should double check, probably 11 o'clock at night, I need to be at the airport, so, oh, I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check that and but that's tomorrow <sighs> but I don't know guys so my toenail came off because I know y'all saw I went to get my toes done I'm pretty sure I vlogged that it came off and I found it y'all see that it's, it's a gel I never get gel on my toes like I've never gotten gel on my toes so I was very shocked I thought it was gonna last longer and stuff like that than polish and I should I'm missing a whole toe so I guess I don't so I'm really disappointed in that like for real and like it was just so random like 
while I'm missing a whole toe. But guys, Tobago was really nice. Like I, I really enjoyed it. I need to come back and spend like longer here so I can really go around and do stuff. But I did really enjoy it. And oh, my hair, I'm gonna fix my hair when I get on the boat because that's what I did last time. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go downstairs. I'll probably start editing the vlog while I'm downstairs because I did charge my laptop and shit, hopefully it's still charged. But I was supposed to check out the whole, the checkout time, I think it's 11. It's like 12.30 now, so. Child, let me get to be getting out these people room. But, oh my God, I hope the vlog comes out really good because I know I didn't get like, a lot of stuff even though I bought the special vlogging camera I get shy because you know it's only me I'm not like with my family I don't have anybody with me it's literally only me so I do get kind of like shy about it and it's just easier for me to like pull out my phone and like film really fast like it's less noticeable and things like that but I do want to get like normal <laughs> at doing this but yeah I need to hurry up and get back home I have already a lot of stuff to do. I have to um, oh, my money done ran out in my bank account. My dad's acting like he's blind, like he's slow. He don't understand. Oh, my lips are sunburned. probably wasn't the right thing to put on it yeah and then I have I, think my, I, I should have a funeral to go to I think my friend wants me to be there for them so to go to a funeral in like another state the following weekend that I come back to the states and then like I think I have like two weeks and then I'm going to Houston most likely and I should be able to get a ticket because you know my friend is this the universe oh my god so her homecoming is March 18th I think it's like a Saturday in March so I need to make sure and get my ticket I don't know if there's if she has a oh I need to ask her if there's a code for early access so I can make sure I secure mine so they go on sale like Monday but oh my god I don't have any money oh <laughs> so ugh. But yeah, I, I'm gonna go guys. I'll probably just, like show y'all like more areas of the dock cause they was acting like I couldn't film and stuff when I was like walking off the boat. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> we outside, we not in no goddamn building. But I'm gonna upload that clip anyways. Cause fuck them. What they gonna do? Ban me off the boat? But yeah, oh my God, my lips are sunburned. Mm-mm. I need to get like a lip, I need to do a lip scrub. But yeah, guys, this room was very cool. Um, no complaints. And I don't know, this was a really nice hotel. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was really nice. I really enjoyed staying here. It does suck that everyone says like nothing, nothing happens in Scarborough. So that's one drawback, but shoot, the hotel was nice. But I'll talk to y'all later.
so I am back at the Radisson. I'm staying two doors down from the room I had um, the first time I stayed here. Yeah, I just came straight from the boat, checked in, dropped my things, got the bag that I checked, and hold on, let me turn the air down. Like, turn it up so it can um, come off. Cause it's, it's a little too cold because I turned it down before I left. So, y'all. <sighs> so, I have some lentils and pie and stew chicken. I just got it from one of the vendors. Okay. Oh, yeah, that pepper hot. Oh, good. I got it from one of the vendors by, um, in promenade, of course, from Royal Castle. And then when I was leaving, I see her Ben stop. She gonna be making boogers. I was like, you come late, girl. What is it, she in my back? Doing something else. Mm, chicken tastes all right. Mm. But yeah, so. I'm very hungry. So I'm staying two doors down from the room I had before. This room is a little bit different. It's like really dim in here. There's only two lamps. The other room had three lamps. So this corner of the room that I'm in can get some light. So I'm, I'm kind of sad about that because I really like light. This food gonna be oh gosh, this food gonna be done just now. So tomorrow is Sunday, and I told my aunt that I would come down there, and I told her to cook. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get down there, cause the bus I took to go down there, the coach. It doesn't run on Sundays. I can see if they want to talk to you again tomorrow. Y'all, I got a boat sick. I don't know if I said this in, in the videos in Tobago, but it was like post motion sickness or something. Cause y'all know, okay, it was so busy. I got there, I had to find the driver, then we go to Comfort Inn, drop my bags. And I took a little while to get ready because the swimsuit I wanted to put on, I had to take off a tag. In order to take off the tag, I pulled it out of the loop, but the loop is like this wide and I don't have anything pointy to like push it through so I couldn't get it through. And I messed with it for a little bit and I was like, oh, I gotta go. And then I get there, they're not even ready to go. We didn't, we didn't uh, leave until like 12 something. But Tobago was really good. So yeah, I left that boat and I did start feeling sick on the boat to Tobago. And when that happens, the best thing you can do is just go to sleep, lay down. I'm checking good. The best thing you can do is lay down and go to sleep. So that, the one I took to Tobago was the APT James and that one did recline. So that was a plus because the, bo the boat we came back on was the Buku Reef. The seats do not decline on that one. And then the very front of the boat, they don't have seats across the entire front. Like wh when I put in the videos, y'all should like notice there's a difference. There's like in the middle section and premium, they have like four seats to a table and stuff. Like I guess if people wanted to sit and eat there or like just travel there. And it was like smack dab in the middle. So you really couldn't sit in the middle if you wanted to. That would sit off to the sides. So that was annoying. And the seat's not reclining. Then the lady didn't have any change. I was like, what the hell? And then while we're leaving premium, the food they have in the other part of the boat, they have like full meals. I was like, what? 
We only had um sandwiches back there. Cause I would have bought a full meal, but they only had sandwiches, so I just got a cheese based sandwich. It was decent. And y'all keep in mind I ate before the boat pulled off. Like the boat was pulling off, I was done eating. Cause literally I got on the boat and probably what five minutes of being on the boat. Um I feel it. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my god. And I keep looking, I'm like, I know the boat's not moving, like people still getting on. It was not, it was not good. I was freaking out so hard. And then I started panicking even more when I'm like, oh my God, the seat don't go back. The seat don't recline. And then we had, we had little kids on the boat, like a baby. Thank God the baby did not cry, but the baby was talking loud as hell. I'm like, oh my God. And I just so happened to sit right behind them. And I'm talking like baby, baby. Like the baby got two front seat babies. Talking loud as hell. So, <clears throat> I just put in my noise canceling headphones because I don't got time for this. And there was more people checking into the bail when I left. And there was a ship that docked there, like an actual cruise ship. So I thought that was cool. So I'm gonna start editing the vlog tonight, hopefully. I keep saying I'm gonna start and I haven't. And I guess I'm just gonna think about how I'm gonna get to my aunt's because if I do the ride share, it's gonna be so expensive. I'm just like over it when I can travel. Mm -hmm. This food was good. But y'all, yeah, I gotta stop eating all this food because my stomach be going through it. And then I was gonna buy some punch. I was like, nah, you're doing too much. Cause there was like a couple people selling punch. I was like, nah, relax. So I'ma just chill, I'ma just eat this and chill. It was about to be nine o'clock. Y'all, town is like dead, it's like back to normal now. It's so back to normal now. And I got more info on where Nicki Minaj was on the beat um, and I, I really do not want to talk about it guys because I real life could have been there and I really could have like seen her in real life so I really don't want to talk about it because it's it's making me really upset and it's pissing me off but my mom said it looks like she was on 13th street and that's like two streets over and I could have I could have seen her you know it's just real sad vibes Like real big side bikes. But whatever, yes. <clears throat> I already come on board. Hmm. I'm almost done eating, so I'm gonna take a shower, chill, look over the footage, see what else I need to tell you. I feel like I need to finish telling y'all what happened on on um, kind of about Tuesday, but I don't remember. Boy, I stopped off. This pie was good. I think I've never been to turn diet. I don't know what. This is the macaroni for macaroni pie. It's like a skinny. It has been long, only baked so. And long. And that's the macaroni it does use. Typically for macaroni pie and for just the macaroni you guys use in general. I don't know if we have a fancy name for it. That's yeah, called macaroni. I know for spaghetti, some spaghetti, smaller spaghetti, spaghetti, but this is bigger than spaghetti and it's just wrong. And I stick our wrong sickly, but also I really don't know what it's called. What is called macaroni? Yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna finish eating and see what all I need to tell y'all. But oh, I am gonna calculate up how much money I spent. I guess that'll be in like the last episode. Yeah, I hope I hope the series turns out really good as I'm editing everything together. Cause 
I know I didn't like vlog like a lot outside. Just like really small clips. I don't know, some people get weird when you're recording, so I wasn't trying to be weird. I'm already shy, so I wasn't trying to be weird, you know? Yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>
because I don't know I feel like my bag might be slightly overweight so I gotta be prepared for that how many episodes okay so there was about 10 10 episodes I wrote down for 10 episodes and then I was probably gonna do like one one last episode it's gonna be like 11 so it's probably gonna be cut down like a lot now maybe six or so since like I didn't do half of the stuff that I wrote down because transportation etc and just me getting tired y'all my feet hurt so bad right now because I wore my slippers and I was oh I was walking hard as fuck do, 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 do. down to town to get some food today breakfast lunch and dinner I went to town um breakfast I had some aloo pies from Hassan's roti shop they close at once so I, I didn't make it back there in time to get lunch um when I did go for lunch I just get Royal Castle and there was a lady selling soup and I get some corn soup and she add beef to it because she had meat ticket add. It was it was pretty good. It was okay. I only get one tin piece of corn though. But a ton of letter dumplings. Um then for lunch I went to I mean dinner. I went to dinner kinda of late. I had Mario's and I, I have a man selling peanut punch. He's selling peanut punch, um, like where the um, the KFC is, and I had a bank opposite the KFC. He opposite the bank on the square. So I bought that for him. Hopefully it's good. I bought to drink it really fast. Then I, I forget to have these juice and stuff here. That's what I need to drink too. Oh gosh, it's so dark. That I need to drink too. So. I almost done I just waiting for some videos to download off the cloud <sighs> but yeah I'm about to go y'all I'm about to my ride I scheduled a ride with the ride share it's supposed to be here at 11 30 and for some reason in my mind I was thinking it needs to be here at 11 but no 11 30 thank god I have an extra 30 minutes and I'm still probably gonna be running late I need to hurry up but for the most part a lot more of my stuff is packed away like a lot more so ooh Casa amigo, casa amigo, casa amigo, casa amigo, casa amigo. Ugh, I have a whole bottle waiting for me at home. And y'all, I didn't even drink all that. I filled my flask in, oh, in a small water bottle with the rest. And that shit had my, my suitcase heavy. So now that I don't have that in my suitcase, but I have my, my uh, backpack in there, my uh, my feathers backpack so hopefully that doesn't weigh down too much but i have zero hope and then i couldn't pay for my bag online since i guess this first flight is with copa i can't do that so i have to pay for my bag when i get there but i'm checking in like literally around 12 if i can drop my bag that early but if not at least i'll be there and i have enough time to like rearrange so i'm not like rearranging like a mad person because it's like a 30 minute drive to the airport so I should be there in good time I should be there in good time and um yeah I can't I'm just dying to get home so I can make a hot cup of tea that's all that's really what I miss and y'all I need to rip a new one for the Radisson this this fucking hotel is ghetto as fuck it's so motherfucking ghetto Oh my god, it's ghetto as a fuck. Oh, it's so fucking ghetto. I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP. <laughs> oh my god, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have booked to stay here when I came back. <sighs> but I was like, ugh, let me just do it. It's only like two days. I guess it's better than staying at like that airport hotel, but I don't know the airport. No, that one looked it looked worse. <sighs> Y'all the fucking shower sings while you taking a shower it's like i couldn't even hear myself think ask me what what i what my shower th thoughts were these past two days because i probably took like three showers or something by now i can't tell you all i heard was and i'm just like oh my god what the fuck is going on that shit pissed me off but yeah so i'm really sad that i'm going home I, I only got to see like my aunt since i've been here well i only had two aunts so i got to see my other aunt and that's really it you know it sucks 
not having any uh grandparents that you can like see when you come down here so I guess I'm like really sad about that and I really just came down here to party and now I'm leaving so I don't know it's just I guess it sucks when you get older and your grandparents just die but you know whatever is life but okay I'm gonna go I'll talk to y'all later